hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video if you're new here hi my name is Antonio Gomani if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i know this is probably not the vlog that you guys were expecting not the intro you're expecting but i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of perspective on today's vlog so about a year ago i know it's been a long time i did a vacation in turkey for a week and then i did a vacation in montenegro for a week so what you guys are watching in this vlog is the montenegro leg of um that vacation like i said this was about a year ago so i was still going through a lot of skin problems uh we were so tanned we had been in the sun for so long at that point um and yeah i eventually got sick on the second leg of the trip which is this montenegro i had an infection in my throat my voice was a bit yankee but i just wanted to give you this background before you watch the vlog so it makes sense when you're watching it but i hope you guys enjoy this vlog also i wanted to say that we are still i am actually still hosting the sip and paint event so if you are in london and you're interested i will leave the link somewhere in the description box come it's going to be on the 8th of july we're going to be having um some creativity with painting we're going to be sipping on some really nice drinks and we're going to just make friends um and build a community um you know as experts living in london so if you're interested in that please do check out the description box and make sure you make your way to the event on the 8th of july without any further ado let's get on to the vlog <laughs> got done showering still waiting for sam to shower and we're gonna go down for breakfast i'm gonna show you what breakfast looks like it's a buffet breakfast as well so far i've been enjoying this day in montenegro we honestly don't have plans <laughs> for the day because montenegro is that small there's literally nothing to do here but we came to see this the the town it's a very small town um and we also came here to actually relax so the whole point is just to be at the hotel in the pool by the beach da 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 you know like just soft life things so yeah um we are about to go down for breakfast and i'll take you guys with me but yeah this is it this is us this is our gigantic bed i hope you guys can see it um it's so huge guys it's literally huge it's the best thing it's so soft i absolutely enjoy it <laughs> guys it's a new day and we out on the streets of montenegro just getting a feel for the local area and seeing what's on sale what people are having for lunch people are staring because we're probably the only black people they may be seeing for the first time in a very long time so People do stay but that's okay I think we've gotten used to people staring people asking us for pictures um, just now we were booking a tour for tomorrow and the guy they um, saw us with like little burnt marks on our skin because we've been in the Sun for so long 
and he was asking i thought you guys are naturally protected from the skin why do you burn like isn't your skin supposed to naturally protect you from the sun and we just looked at him like dude so but anyway we you sort of get used to it and yeah we're enjoying our time here we have a cruise for tomorrow and we have another cruise for monday um which is i'm hoping it's going to be absolutely amazing um i don't think it's going to be anything like turkey though but i think it's going to be pretty good and i can't wait to see how it goes trying out ice cream from this place the ice cream is like 0.80 euros um, and they have a lot of variety of flavors and there's no way we are not getting ice cream it looks so good it looks so good these are all the flavors that they have guys i got ice cream um so i got Raffaello, which is that one. I hope you can see Raffaello. I got pistachio, if you can just pistachio, and I got cheese, which is in here. Oh, it says have a good day and enjoy ice cream, guys. I don't think I'd shown you a hotel from the outside, but this is a hotel. Um, this is Palmon Bay Hotel in Montenegro. It's, I think it's a five-star hotel because it's a hotel, a hotel and spa. Oh, my English. It's a hotel and spa. Um, we get buffet breakfast, buffet dinner. We get access to the private beach that they have. And <laughs> that's how it looks. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm so hello. intrigued. <laughs> But yeah, that's what it is. And we're staying on this wing of the hotel. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. I think if I were to come to Montenegro again, which I don't think I will, I probably would stay in this hotel again because it's so lovely. But yeah. Morning guys, we are at La Bamba Beach and Lounge Bar. 
this is where we are boarding our boat cruise to Kotor. I think it's already there, like right up there. Um, people are already boarding. And yeah, let's do this. I hope this is gonna be a nice boat cruise. The waters look nice and clean. Hello. Morning, how are you? Uh, good. Can good. I see the ticket for the boat? Of course. Morning. So we are through the harbor. Um, boarding the ship in a minute. Welcome to another day of the vlog of Montenegro. Um, my voice sounds funny because I think I caught something with the swimming in the ocean that I've been doing in Turkey and also here in Montenegro. So I think I'm staying clear of the ocean. I think I've caught some kind of bacterial infection in my throat. So my voice sounds funny. So I'm gonna stay clear of the ocean today. I'm um, just in an attempt to recover my voice. But it's beautiful here. And I'm looking forward to the boat ride. Um, some people are swimming already. This is the beautiful town of Hasik Novi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah. And this is the tiny boat that we're getting on. It's very small compared to the Turkey one, but uh, it looks full already, but I'm not complaining. I hope I get a seat. It's going. Sam is wearing a ranger outfit. She's bringing animal print to South African to Montenegro. I'm wearing this because people have been harassing me. So, I'm gonna cover up and then. I could have one euro for guys. People are surprised that we get sunburns, guys. They think we automatically are immune to sunburn, which is weird. But anyway, it's their lack of knowledge. But we are on the ship. Um, this is our view. Uh, so far, I think it's nice. Uh, we're literally sitting like right at the beach, uh, and I hope that we'll be able to obscure the view. But I'm looking forward to this, guys. To give you an illustration of where we're going, we started off at Helsik Novi, which is where we caught the boat. So we are cruising all along the coast. Uh, I think we're gonna have a stop somewhere here, and then for a swim or whatever. And then we're gonna cross over to Kotor. So Kotor is like the main um, destination that we're taking this cruise to. So we're gonna cruise to Kotor and then we're gonna come back along the coast again. I think we're gonna pass by Tivet. Tivet is where we landed, the airport is there as well. And then we're gonna cruise back to Hesignovi. So this is an all day tour. And I'm excited to see all of these places. Montenegro is not that big. It has about 600,000 people, the entire country. And you could literally drive the whole country in one day because it's 250 kilometers from north to south and 250 k's from east to west. So it's very, very small. Um, but yeah, this is the little town of Hesignovi. Um, and where we started so we're only a few minutes into the tour um, but it's absolutely beautiful guys um, I think I like this this town it's like a little town with boats and um, a lot of tourists as well
island thing that's the building um, I say island thing because we are literally surrounded by water but I don't think it's an island I think it's a man-made but yeah this is what we it looks like we have about 40 minutes here it's currently 11 or 9 or 10 past so we'll be heading back onto the boat there at 11 40 i think this is beautiful um like montenegro is full of mountains and mountains that are surrounded by the ocean so the views are absolutely spectacular the breeze is so amazing and it's it's a nice place to actually just come relax and i'm glad that we are relaxing because we're not doing a lot i think this is our first excursion <laughs> For the ever since we got to Montenegro, we've just been napping the whole time. We've been using the spa, and today we're like, oh, you know, let's just go on a boat ride and see the town. Because the the best way to actually see the town is to go on a boat ride, which is yeah, what we decided to do today. So I hope you're enjoying this vlog. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this place. Um, do you think it's something you'd want to come see? Um, yeah, if you're living in the UK and you have a UK residence permit um, or under a UK visa, you don't need a visa to come to Montenegro. You can come here at any time as long as you have a UK residence permit. They use the euro here, which is obviously less than the pound in currency. So you also have the advantage of a stronger currency coming here in pounds. So yeah. It's like a very tiny little town. Um, that would just stop that. Um, it's really, really hot. I guess I'm gonna have to go up because Sim is up there somewhere, and I'm thinking maybe the view would be amazing from the top. So here we go. We're going all the way up there. I hope it's a nice view. made it to the top guys I'm breathing heavily <laughs> but the view from the top looks absolutely amazing and spectacular hope you guys appreciate this I'm bringing you content but yo, I feel like I'm killing myself but this looks beautiful. It looks nice. Hey guys, check in again. Stop number three, I think this is. We are in Old Town Couture. Couture is a very small town in Montenegro on the one other side of the ocean. And we're just at the port. Do they call this a port? Uh, yeah, Port of Couture <laughs> Port of Couture and we just got off the boat back there and we just want to see the place a little bit but let me show you around Pronounce it in Serbia, this is Serbia, this country. Is it like 
pizzeria. So that's the ice cream, pistachio, it's a mango, and cheesecake. Oh man, guys, I want to do this. I want to do this. MSC Sinfonia. I have no idea where this is coming from or where it's going. But it's an MSC cruise ship. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm the one in there, but uh, no, I'm not. You guys, I almost forgot to vlog our dinner. But I'm having a salmon salad with some pasta, carrots, chicken, fish and corn with mayo or something like that that's what sam is having and we have dessert on the other side good morning guys it's a new day um i almost want to say today's our last day but not really we're actually talking about tomorrow morning i guess today's our last day of breakfast and i just wanted to show you guys what i'm having for breakfast i hope you can hear me because i have my airports on um i hope i'm audible but yeah, today we have another boat cruise thing. It's a different boat cruise from the one we went to yesterday. And that we're going to different places and doing different things. So I hope that it's going to be exciting. Um, I think I've caught some sort of infection in my throat. Um, so that's still going on. That's why my voice is sounding a bit deeper <laughs> than normal. But let me show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. And let's get this day started. So for breakfast, I'm having some scrambled eggs, um, some uh, greens with um, tuna, some pastry stuff, and then I'm having bread and butter. And then here I just have hot water and lemon with honey, um, just for my throat, um, and maybe it'll help me feel better. But yeah, that's what I'm having for breakfast. destination it's sort of like a beach area um, we're just chilling right now Sam is getting out of the water I don't know if you can see her hi Sam <laughs> yeah guys like the beach is made of stone once again the water has stone in it on the floor, so it's kind of slippery the whole time. It's like an injury waiting to happen. It's not enjoyable. Oh, I put your bed there so your water doesn't get hot. Um, yeah, so if we're here, uh, we're just chilling. I'm just relaxing. I don't think I'll go into the water because I'm sick. I'm just gonna chill, enjoy the breeze, and enjoy the view. Let me show you guys the rest of the view. It's so nice. I'm actually watching a dog play catch in the ocean, which is nice to watch. Although I'm afraid of dogs. There's the dog playing catch in the ocean. Guys, dogs can actually swim, hey? They swim much better than we do, actually. Look at them. I mean, I know I'd never get a dog, but like, this is cute. <laughs> she, she says the order. She's just loud. <laughs> this is exactly why I'd never have a dog. <laughs> So this cave. We're going in. Oh my god. So 
what it looks like. Some people swimming. I wouldn't swim here yeah, because unless I have a life jacket. <laughs> but no. I'm not risking my life, child. Guys, we just got out of the cave back then. Sam had a swim. How was it? It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Just as I've been doing it. I taught her by the way and now I'm too sick to go into the water but it's whatever it was nice guys got into the cave people swam we're now going back to the beach and yeah man hey guys I'm back at the hotel and I'm having dinner um, today's my last dinner I'm feeling a bit emotional and like I really just want to enjoy this meal because it's the last dinner yeah um, like I said we'll be leaving tomorrow to get closer to the airport because it's quite a drive so yeah um, let me show you what I'm eating and then I'm gonna eat cookie and I'm gonna go pack my bag um, make sure I'm ready for the morning because our transport leaves for early in the morning tomorrow so I'm gonna make sure I'm ready for that and then I'm gonna go to bed early as well because you know gotta wake up early so for dinner I'm having a bit of rice some gravy a variety of meats there's fish there's beef I have no idea what this is but I think it's roasted pork and then I've got some vegetables on the side and I'm having it with a glass of water and lemon. Again, I got a bit sick, so I'm trying to drink as much water and put lemon as I can. So that's my meal. I'm gonna go get dessert later. Um, I wanna see how full I am and how much dessert I can get. But yeah, I'll show you that when I get it. So the dining hall isn't too full today. I think it's because it's a Monday and a lot of people have left the hotel already so not a lot of people are here to have dinner um but yeah you would expect it to be quite less during the week so that's what i'm having let me eat quickly and then we'll catch up and i'll end this vlog properly this is what i'm having for dessert i think it's i have no idea what it is but it tastes so good i've had this before and this is like a potato puree type of thing i just want to try it out it's not part of dessert but it looked good on the menu and I just wanted to try it out so yeah that's what I'm having for dessert hey guys I actually forgot to close off this vlog last night after dinner oh my god I look so dark guys I've gotten more than a 10 like my skin is rich in melanin anyway so I'm ending off this vlog here um, today's our last day at the hotel we're still here packing up it's about nine now we need to check out and leave and go to the next hotel which is closest to the airport so i just thought i should end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching my montenegro vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah too many more vlogs and to much more traveling i am excited to go back to london i've missed my bed i've missed my apartment i've missed home it's weird that I call London home now, but yeah, I've kind of missed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done leaving out of my suitcase, but it's been a great two weeks of holiday. Turkey was great, Montenegro was amazing, but I think I'm looking forward to going back home. So 
please like comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye